Hey YouTube, Calgary123123 back with another Smart Vision video tutorial. In this one, let's take a look at the home screen horn depth. In my tutorial video, I did show you what the home screen looked like, but I want to take you on a tour more of what apps come with the phone and you know how everything works. So before we do this, I need to clarify there are two versions of the Smart Vision 2. There is the standard Smart Vision 2, and there is the Smart Vision 2 Premium. Now, the one I have here is actually the Smart Vision 2 Premium, and it has a few little extras, which I will talk about when we get to them in the Applications menu. That's really the big difference, though. The hardware is the same. Okay, let's go ahead and wake up the phone. Device unlocked. 11.52 p.m. Battery level. 85% remaining. Okay, so the phone is unlocked and we're at the home screen. And again, on the home screen, you have... 11.52 the p.m. Applications. App date and time. Applications. Contacts. Contacts. Phone. Phone. Messaging. And messaging. So let's go up to applications. Phone. Contacts. Applications. And I will go ahead and press the OK button to enter the Applications menu. Applications. And now the phone has confirmed that we're in Applications, so we will down arrow through our list. Applications. Please note that some of these I have installed myself, and I will let you know when we come to those. Backup and restore. That's a simple like backup app that came with the phone. Ben. That's something I installed. It's a chime and clock. Book reader. Book reader. This is one of the apps, it's like a daisy reader, that is included with the Smart Vision 2 Premium phone. So we have it here. We may look at that in another video. Calculator. Calculator. Calendar. Calendar. Camera. Camera. Chrome. Chrome for browsing the internet. Clock. The clock app. Colors detection. Color detection. I'm not sure if that's unique to the Vision 2 Premium. Contacts. Contacts. Downloads. Downloads. Email. Email. ET Eloquence TTS. That's an app I installed for the Eloquence Voice. Facebook. Facebook again. I installed that. File manager. File manager comes with the device. FM radio. You have an FM radio. Gmail. Gmail, Google, Google, Captain, Captain. That is the GPS app, which is included with the Smart Vision 2 Premium. Actually, this phone is made by the same people behind the Captain Mobility Talking GPS unit. So, if you're familiar with that, um, this is the same, very similar. Light detection. A light detector. Light. Light, that's Facebook Messenger Light. I installed that. Magnifier. Magnifier that comes with the phone. Maps. Google Maps, you get that here. Messaging. Messaging, it's Messages app. NFC. NFC, you can do some interesting things with the NFC reader in this phone. Note. Note. OCR. OCR, you can scan text. I believe that's also a Spark Vision 2 premium add on. Phone. <coughs> Phone. Self-explanatory. We looked at that in the past video. Photos. Photo viewer. Play music. Play music. Play store. Play store. Important app. That's how you download other apps. And we'll take a look at how to do that in a future video. Quick support. Quick support. SOS. SOS. Search. Search. Zero. Zero. That's Sarah Tech's app for listening to podcasts and other content. I installed that. Settings. Settings. Sound recorder. Sound recorder for recording. Speed test. Speed test, I installed that. Voice search. Google voice search. Web radio. A web radio player. And finally, I have another app I installed, which is... YouTube. YouTube. So, these are all your apps. What if you want shortcuts to some of these on your home screen? That is an easy thing to do. And I will show you how to do that. Let's say that
that we want a shortcut to Gmail on our home screen because we want to check our email more efficiently. Web radio. I'm going to arrow Voice up to search, Gmail, setting, but in a second, store, I will show you another tip. Messaging, maps, magnifier, captain, Google, file manage, Facebook, Oop, file manage, FM radio, Gmail. So there is Gmail. Alert menu. Menu. Add to home screen. Now, what I did there was I pressed and held my OK button and down arrowed. And the option there was add to home screen. I'm going to go ahead and press OK on this. Applications. And it is done. Now, I mentioned that there's a way to quickly get to an app that you want. So let's say we want a shortcut to OCR. We'll add that. So to do that in a more quick me method, because you can tell we're at the beginning of the list, if I type the letter O, by doing three taps of six, N -O -C -R. it jumped us right to OCR. So it does a search. Now I'm going to go ahead and press OK. Alert menu. And alert menu. Menu. Add to home screen. And add to home screen. We'll press OK on that. Applications. And the full applications menu is back, and it has been added. So let's verify that. Gmail and OCR are on our home screen, so I'll just press the home button. Home screen. And I can tell visually that there are some new things there, so let's arrow down. 1150 applications, contacts, phone, messaging, Gmail. There's Gmail. OCR. And OCR. So they have been placed on our home screen. Now, to remove them is a similar process to adding them. So let's go up to Gmail first, Gmail. and press and hold OK again. Alert menu. Now the menu has popped up, and I will down arrow through these choices. Menu. Remove from home screen. Remove from home screen, which is what we're going to do in a second. Up into the list. Up into the list. Down into the list. Down to the list. Move to the top of the list. Move to the top of the list. Move to the bottom of the list. And move to the bottom of the list. That's if you want to reorganize these. But we, what we want to do remove from home screen. is remove from the home screen. So there's the option, and we'll press OK to select. Home screen. And 11.59 p.m. Monday, the 28th of May. Application, contacts, phone, messaging, OCR. And it's gone. Let's remove OCR as well in the same method. Alert menu. Pressing and holding the OK button and down arrowing to menu. Remove from home screen. Remove from home. And press OK to select it. The application has been removed. Now that time it spoke that it was been removed. I don't know why I didn't the first time. But that is the basics on how to use the home screen. And it's a great way to put, you know, your favorites there for quick and easy access. So that is a tour of the home screen. I'm gonna go ahead and lock the smart vision. And that's it. I hope you found this helpful, and I'll see you in a future video. We hope you have enjoyed this video. If so, please subscribe for more, and feel free to comment. Also, you can follow me on Twitter, at Gallagher123123. Thank you for watching, and we will see you soon.